Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are doing another paint and chat and we are heading to the beach. I needed to just get away so I packed my favorite beam watercolor paints that are great for travel because they're so little and compact. My Wonder Forest sketchbook which is awesome. This travel paintbrush from Beam as well, and some of my extra favorite brushes as backups. Didn't know what I wanted to use in this cute little carrying case. And I headed to the water. I've been wanting to do this since we moved out to Niagara, and I finally got the chance to do it. It wasn't windy, it wasn't too sunny, it was perfect. So I set up my paints and a little tip if you're painting outside, use like an old like washcloth or towel instead of paper towel, it doesn't blow away and I decided to just paint. And while you guys watch me paint today, I'm gonna to be talking about the problem with striving for perfection and how unrealistic it is and how to kind of overcome that because that's something I'm still working on myself. I am quite the type of person that wants to be good at everything right away the first time and then I get down on myself if I'm not but art was surprisingly something that didn't end up happening that way um it came at a time where I really needed something in my life to calm me and make me happy and something to look forward to and just enjoy and art is exactly the medicine that I needed at that point in my life and so I remember just sitting down and just putting on some of my favorite music and just painting with no expectation. I wasn't painting anything for anybody. I wasn't, you know, painting anything to sell or there was no pressure to create for any reason except to just play. And I think as we kind of, you know, maybe develop a career in the arts or, you know, start trying to make a business out of selling our work, we forget how to play. And then as beginners, I didn't start by watching tutorials. I just started off by playing. But I can imagine that if you're, you know, starting off by watching someone else paint and tutorials and you're a beginner with art and watercolor, you're like, well, why doesn't mine look like that? Why does it seem so effortless for her and it's or him and it's it's not for me? What's wrong with me? Why can't I do it right the first time? And I think maybe if I started off with tutorials back then, like watching them, I might have felt the same because I am very much that person that if I see someone else doing something effortlessly, I should be able to as well. And that is not the case. We need to get our heads out of that mindset and realize that the people who are teaching these tutorials or writing these books that we're following have been doing this for many years, many, many years. And at one point, they were beginners just like us. And that should bring some sort of comfort. And I try and bring you guys that comfort too. I've posted a couple times on my Instagram. Um, I've done a video of my sketchbooks from when I first started out showing you that I was just like you. I did have a bit of an art background. I've always been one to doodle and paint and draw my whole life. So I have been doing it for even longer than the five years that I've strictly been watercoloring. Um, so I had a bit of an art foundation, but I was still a beginner and my florals still look like a lot of the florals that you guys sent me saying, this is mine and I just started painting. I, mine looked exactly like that. So if you are following a tutorial or you're seeing something on Instagram or just online and you're picking up the paintbrush for the first time and you're in your first week or your first month or your first couple months and it's still not looking the way you think it should or the way you want to know that it takes time okay you can have the best materials and the best supplies and it still may not look the way you want it to and if you're a perfectionist, it really may never look the way you want it to. But that's where practice comes in, okay? This is something, this is a skill to develop. And I highly believe that anybody, I, I love when people say there's not a artistic bone in my body. I assure you there is. Because really, all art is, is just pictures made up of shapes and color and lines. That's it. And there are artists that make 
millions of dollars for having simple dots on a page (laughs) or lines or, you know, pattern artists that make art of, you know, just like the simplest little patterns. And they, they are artists as a living like this. There are people that are naturally talented. Don't get me wrong. For sure. They have that eye. The people who do realism blow my mind. I can't do that. But there is this simplicity that comes with art that anybody can do it. And I think that's why it's so beautiful. You just have to kind of let go of that idea of perfection or being able to paint just like someone else because it might not happen or it might not happen right away. It's just something you have to enjoy and play around with and, and just practice that. And so that's kind of what this video is about. I have been feeling a lot of pressure like I've mentioned many times in my videos because I like to overshare my feelings Um, and I I spend my work days trying to come up with these great ideas for videos and I feel this pressure you know and there's competition out there and I don't want to look at people as competition but there are other amazing YouTube artists out there and you know there are times where you compare yourself and you're like oh god mine's not as good as this person's or this person has more views or more subscribers and is more successful and that's the reason why I went to the water to paint I needed to let go of all of that garbage in my head telling me that you know maybe it's not good enough or I need to work harder and just remember how to play you know that's that's what this is all about I just wanted to go and play with my paints create anything this wasn't for anybody but me it ended up being a part of my video but I wasn't thinking like this has to be perfect so I can show the world how wonderful I am not at all I just went to play like the little water landscapes were not detailed or intricate it's not my best work but it was just fun kind of looking at the water and hearing the water as well as hearing the music in my my headphones because I had that on at times too um and just feeling that freedom to create anything without the pressure of it having to look good or be judged. And that's what I want to tell you to do is just remember to play, get outside, find something that inspires you. I think nature can be one of the most inspiring things and play. And then I took out my beam paints, which I find are like my most inspiring palettes. They're just so beautiful and they're a part of nature and just create. Um, And it was amazing and it was a wonderful experience and I highly recommend it for everyone and anyone. So that's kind of my pep talk for the day and I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. I will list all of the materials I was using below. But yeah, get out and paint and stop striving for perfection and just remember to play. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a wonderful day.